What's up, y'all? Mark here. You know how I do cookbooks, bring information. Today's not today's conversation won't be based off academics or academia. It'll be more like uh, just a, an, another practical day to day affair. You know how to cope and deal with life. So I was talking to a friend of mine today, and she was, you know, we we're talking about her her talent. And uh, this message can be applied to anyone. If you have a talent, right, that is it's a it's a passion of yours. You haven't fully developed it, but yet you still have that passion. Live it, enjoy it, never give it up, never let it go. It's important that if, look, life is difficult, life is hard. And anyone who tells you life is not difficult, life is not hard, either aren't living, right? They aren't living life or they were just born with a spoon in their mouth. Those are the fortunate ones. But for the rest of us day-to-day -day people who are getting out and getting out here into the world and confronting life head on and facing it, we understand that life kicks your butt. You get up, you do it again, right? So life is very difficult. So it's vitally important because we understand that it's vitally, it's of paramount importance that we take time for ourselves. If you're married, for instance, you're a wife, you got kids, three, four, five kids. If you're a husband, you got a wife, you got kids. It's vitally important that we all set aside time for ourselves. Me, I like to set aside time to uh, to meditate and spend time uh, in the gym to do some exercising. Uh Meditation and exercise for me, I find it to be cathartic, right? Uh, it's it's catharsis because I, it allows me to, it's, it's, it has a, a purgative kind of uh, effect on me, right? It, there's a purgation process, meaning there's a purging, a cleansing, right, of, of, of emotional stressors and or tensions. So... <clears throat> If you are, if you're a wife and you're taking care of a, a number of, of children, you're raising your children, that alone in and of itself is a very cumbersome, uh, uh, it's lovely, it's lovely, don't get me wrong, you love your children, but it can be very cumbersome, it can be very overwhelming. So it's important that as we age, as we get up there as adults, it's important that we set aside time, whether it's an hour, half hour, two hours, whatever it is, it's very, very important that you set aside time to uh, recoup, rejuvenate, and to express yourself, right? Uh, because whatever it may be, if you like to sing, find a group that sing and sing with that group. Even if you can't sing, but you just like to sing. If you are an artist and you like to uh, write poetry, find a group that's that's in poetry and write your poetry. If you like literature, find a book club, a book group that likes literature and exercise that uh, uh, talent. But whatever it is that you find in your heart that you enjoy to do, it doesn't mean it, it could be just a, a walk in the park. If you like to be by yourself and walk through a park, do that and do it every day because again, it has a purgative, uh, uh, a purgative and a purgationary uh, type of effect, which is a cleansing and a, and, a, and a purging of emotional tension and or stressors. So, I firmly stress that you let no one or nothing. Me, like I said, for me, it's exercising and meditation. I set aside these some time for that every single day, and I don't let anything. Uh, deviate or uh, allow me to, to negate these uh, these uh, outlets because life can be very, very stressful and it, you don't want to take on too much water. Think of a ship. If a ship takes on too much water, eventually it's going to sink, right? It's going to capsize or whatever the case may be. So you don't want to take on too much uh, emotional ocean, if that makes sense, uh, if it runs with the metaphor, you don't want to take on too much emotional oceans uh, because you will capsize, okay? You will sink. So it's very important that you set aside time for ourselves as adults. We all need to set aside uh, uh, whatever time that you can allot to yourself where it's not spent with your children or your husband or your wife. It's strictly for you to focus on you. Because in, in so doing... Your children is going to get the optimal you. Because when you set aside time for yourself to actually develop, right? Because you develop, it's a self-development. When you're developing, they're going to get a better version of you, right? Whether it's your husband, your husband's going to get a better version of you. Your wife's going to get a better version of you. Your uh, children are getting a better version of you. Because in so doing, like I said, in, in the, in the, purga in the uh, purgation process of purging, you're actually releasing a lot of tension, a lot of pent up energy, a lot of stressors, a lot of just negative energies being released uh, in, in whatever it is you're doing, whether it's singing, telling jokes, right? Whatever it is you like to do, uh, you know, you're releasing. So in, in so releasing, you're also you're also taking in too, because in the releasing process, the purging process, you're bringing in a positive vibration. You're bringing in positive energy. So you're actually 
releasing and increasing at the same time and you're releasing the negative and taking the positive. So when you get back to your family now, you can actually be more productive and, and, and cope better and uh, spread that, that po more positive energy with them. Now, I don't want to sound too Pollyannish and too naive uh, or, or pie in the sky. You know, I understand that it's very difficult. You know, New we're in New York, right? It's, you know, we're all on the rat race. We're on a hamster's wheel. I get that. So I, I know it's not an easy thing to do. But it's a necessary thing to do for yourself because at the end of the day, you have to take care of yourself. You have to love yourself. Before I can love my daughter, I have to love me. Before I can love my son, my, my, my brother, my sister, my wife, my cousin, before I can love anyone, you got to first be loving you. And before you can take care of anyone, you got to be first take care of you. So... Don't let others and the naysayers or don't let any opinions of others break your strive or your focus on setting some time aside for yourself. Because it's, again, you only have one you, right? And you only have one physical body and, you know, you have to take care of it. And, 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 and within that physical body, you have one soul, one spirit, one mind, one heart. You have to take care of that. Because in so doing, that's going to manifest everything else in the outward, material, and physical world. So until next time, y'all know what I'm going to be doing. Cooking books, bringing information. Peace.